Hey guys, it's your boy Azure Soul, and today we're going to be showcasing a fun little overload build slash comp for Die Luke. Um, we are going to show some gameplay in a second. We're going to show you going through it with the Abyss uh, first floor level 12. And then we will get right into the nitty gritty of each character and how they're built. Just a side note, this is a for fun build. This is not a meta build. This isn't how to 12 star the abyss. No, I simply just two starred the floor with it. And I thought I'd showcase it for anyone who else who is a fan of Diluke or Raiden or both of them. And you want to put them on a team. So here we go. Let's get down to business. Think you can get away? Starting right off with Dai Luke, of course, the reason this video is even happening is because of him. I'm a big fan of him. Thank you, Eagle, for ruining that. I've wanted him since launch, and I just got him recently, and I thought I'd showcase the team I've been using with him because I've been having a fucking blast with him, an absolute amazing time with him, and I thought I'd show it off just for fun, like I said, it's not a meta build. But yes, yeah, so he's level 90, 9900 attack, 219 mastery. We've got... 71.6% crit rate, 1117, um, 1117, it's not a word, is it? 117 crit damage, 144 recharge, it's enough, he only needs 40 for the ult, you have 90% uptime on his ult, but it's crazy, 61% on the pyro damage bonus, which is further increased during battle because of the Crimson Witches of the Flames 4 piece set that we were running on him, which increases overload damage by 40%, as, uh, and the second skill of it increases the power damage by 50%, as I mentioned just a second ago, up to three times, stacking within 10 seconds. And then for the weapon, we are running the Black Cliff Slasher R5. I'm a big fan of this weapon. Um, it is sort of free to play friendly since you can get it via the cashback feature of this game, which is your star glitter. When you pull, you can buy it from the shop every other rotation. And that's how I got it. So I'd say it's quite free to play friendly, not extremely free to play friendly, because obviously you got to pull on the gacha, but I'd say it's semi free to play friendly. I guess another, another option for him could be this, but I'm specifically using the Black Cliff Slasher for the crit damage as well. The crit damage and the skill. I'm a big fan of the skill on this weapon. And aesthetically, look at him. Look at him. Look at this man. Fucking sexy. Um, so for the artifacts, he is subpar built. Nothing crazy. I didn't even farm for these. When I pulled him, I just scrounged around for whatever I had. Just going to go through them all now. You guys can see the cup's decent. The cup's decent. The timepiece has decent. It's not, I'm lying. I'm a fucking liar. This is literally here for the main fucking... Nine crit rates, okay. 11% recharge. It's okay. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing insane. This is dog cheese. This is literally just here for the recharge and a little bit of mastery to go with the overloaded comp. And the flower is pretty good. So the flower and the cup are good. Everything else is uh, dog cheese. 
For Talos, we are running him at triple eight because I'm broken these materials at the moment. Money is not money is not a problem. You just farm ley lines. But yeah, I'm broken these materials at the moment. So Talos, he's AA eight right now. But obviously, he I do plan to triple crown him. He's literally one of my favorite characters in the whole game. And that is Dai Luke. For the Raiden Shogun, level 80, we are rocking 2,100 attack. Mastery 56, that is terrible, isn't it? That is actually terrible, I should increase that. <laughs> that is absolutely terrible, I should increase that. Um, She has got 48 crit rate, 55 crit damage, and 232 recharge, and a whopping 99.6% electro damage bonus. Now see, this is the thing, I'm not too upset, she's only got 56 mastery, because she's literally here for him like he is the main he's the main nigga in this comp shogun's just there as my like support dps or secondary dps so to say but i should that is bad that is bad but this is why i said it's just more of a fun build no one's properly built she's subpar just like him we are running the emblem of severed fate four piece um as you can see these are the pieces we've got the feather decent i don't like that hp sitting there but the rest of it's decent i guess that's where that 56 mastery comes from we got uh, the flowers really good. I think flowers one of the best pieces we got on her. 40.6% attack percentage. That's nice with the seven crit rate and nine recharge. We've got the this piece here is just to fill out the set. Um, this is just to fill out the set. We've got this piece, which is the what is that? This is just our electro cup. Really good cup actually. Gladiator cup. This is probably the best piece I have. This is the only good piece, like true good four stat piece I have on her out of all five pieces. And then obviously this is just here to complete the set and it's the only piece that's not leveled up to max it is what it is it works if it ain't broke don't fix it that's my model we'll level that up eventually one day maybe probably swapping for a piece to give her more mastery actually as well as for the weapon we are running the scoured spine refinement 2 I, don't ask me how i got that refinement 2 i'm lucky as shit. i've never pulled for this weapon ever <laughs> so that tells you how lucky i am um, obviously for the recharge is the main reason we are rocket this and it's a five star so the base attack is 590 with the extra skill in it it's quite nice but I'm mainly running it for the secondary stat the recharge and the base attack at level 80 constellation zero I forgot to mention earlier but dialogue is also a constellation zero talents 458 I'm sorry I'm sorry I know I'm disrespectful I know these should be higher but this is the key thing here for the rotation so we are rocking only this at level 8. And I need these for Yai. I need these for Yai and Miko. I'm trying to triple crown her. Leave me alone. Shogun can wait. And that is our Shogun. Benny. Best boy Benny. Come on. If you don't like... They, tell him. Tell him, Benny. If you don't like Benny, what are you doing with your life on this game? Don't play this game. Go play another game. You don't deserve this game. If you aren't running Benny on any of your teams, at least one of them. One of them. You can't disrespect him like that. But obviously, he's the boy. One of the best supports in the game to this fucking day. I don't care. 1400 attack. We kind of fucked up. I noticed after we we were running this, I believe, in the video. Um, well, in the, in the fight in the dungeon, but we shouldn't have. We should have been running this because this would have brought us to two, two 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 recharge. But we were running this, which brought us to 180, which is like kind of probably why we kind of mess up the rotation a few times that's partly my own fault because i forgot to give him the festering desire but you know it is what it is it happens um 10 crit rate 80 percent crit damage it doesn't matter mastery 17 it doesn't matter we know why we run bennett come on now stupid questions obviously four piece numbers oblige again i'm never gonna go through these pieces because i know they're all dog cheese but i mean i guess for the main stat obviously we're running that on the feather there's a flower there's a time piece just if you're curious again nothing crazy fucking 16 16 i'm a lazy bastard level 8 level 12 none of his shit is even fully leveled up like the five stars Le level 12 the, the four stars are this is how lazy i am man and he works but he is broke so don't fix it he is constellation five i will not see six him as much as my ocd wants me to because i run him with eula who are you fuck off because i run him with eula so you know i will not be doing that it will stay c6 to the end of time until we can toggle them off talents we run in a seven nine i know this should be more as you can see though these all went into diluc so yeah <laughs> it should at least be 10 i should at least 10 it but uh, yeah diluc exists so and that's bennett venti another character self-explanatory we know why he's here he's here for that 566 mastery 25 crit rate ooh 71 crit damage with the 25 crit rate ooh 135 recharge is that bad yes and no 
Yes and no, it doesn't really matter because he's venti. He's got one of the best, in my opinion, uh, elemental skills for particles in the game. And he gets his energy back quick as fuck. So that's just like extra, really. Animal damage bonus 15. What is going on with this fucking? What's going on with my artifacts, guys? Oh, it's because we're running. <laughs> I'm dumb. Yeah. See, this is why I'm this is why I'm making this video. I'm reminding myself too. We're running two elemental masteries. We are running. Uh, we're running two elemental masteries. We're running a attack. That's just that again. It's just to complete the set. This set is I've not farmed fuck all for Vidas and Veneer. I literally just run it to run it for the four piece bonus. Oh, for the weapon, we are running the stringless. Um, R5. I think I have a second one too, you know, I'm gonna lie to you. Oh, there we go. R4 sitting right there. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, R5 stringless. Um, for the elemental mastery, obviously, and the skill increases elemental skill and elemental burst damage by 48%, which is always just nice to have a little bit of bonus damage on his ult anyway, because it's gonna have a lot of uptime. Um, and that is it for the talents. I think I did do the talents. Nope, but we're here now. Six and seven. I know, terrible. This should be eight. This should 100% be eight. But, you know, it is what it is. This is where we are. This is the comp. Now, for the rotation, it's nothing too crazy. You probably saw it right at the beginning of the video, and then it just all went to shit after that, because that's just me. That's, that's me playing Genshin. That's an average day of me playing Genshin. But um, the rotation is, once you get your ults up, you would make sure they have uh, lightning applied via the Electro Archon herself due to her elemental skill. Then you would ult with Venti. Then you ult with Bennett. Then you ult with the Shogun. Um, or actually you can do this vice versa. You can have an ult with the Shogun and go ham with the ult for a little bit. And then when you know it's about to run out and ben Bennis is about to run out, switch to Diluc, pop off with the massive Overload Bird. Or as soon as they get hit, caught into the Venti and then as long as you see the Electro, you pop the Bennett, then pop Diluc, and then you go into Shogun and just go ham. It's a, I have an order for these two, uh, for these two really, but you know, it works, it works. It's a fun comp. That is the comp. Thank you to everyone who came through to the video. I just thought I'd share it. I just thought I'd share it. I love this guy. I love it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this fucking beauty of a character, man. Oh my god. Like, you can't tell me you don't like this character. He's amazing. Um, and yeah, if you're a fan of Dai Luke and you're a fan of Shogun, well, here you go. Here's a fun little comp form right there. Overloaded. Let's go. Thank you for everyone who came through and have a good one.